Uh, Caitlin's not here. This channel is Sarah and Caitlin. I have all my amazing friends here with me. I went to a Christian school my freshman year, and these are the beautiful women that I'll know for the rest of my life because of that year. So I figured we would make a video about, what is it about? Our life here at a small Christian school and yeah. what that looks like, because it is very different than going to a public university or even a large private university. There's like a lot of misconceptions about Christian schools. Some of them are true, but some of them are also like over exaggerated and not as bad as you would yeah. think that they are. I think it'll be cool to relate to girls that are maybe looking at different universities and thinking like, I want to sustain my faith, but do I want to go to like a public school? Am I, do I want to commit to going to a Christian school? Is it just going to be like high school? Or maybe for girls who are at a Christian school and feel like a little bit left out. Anna? All the above. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get into this video. Before you do, don't forget to like and subscribe. First topic I want to bring up, it's the biggest topic, it's boys. <laughs> what comes to mind when I mention boys and being at a Christian private university? I remember coming in freshman year and if we were like in a big group of girls, sometimes there would be one girl who would like consistently get hit on by all the guys and it made me like so insecure. And I was like, okay, what am I doing wrong? Am I not wearing enough makeup? Am I not like being outgoing enough? Am I getting too much in my head? I really just had to sit in the fact for those few weeks that God had a hand of protection over me. With my personality, it's easy for me to get hurt if I give myself away too easily. So would I want to be getting hit on by random guys like consistently every single day? Not really, because I would get attached pretty easily. I know that when the day comes for a person like me, I'm going to be so grateful for how those first couple months went where I didn't get hit on by guys and even till today I still don't have a boyfriend and that's completely okay because when I meet the right guy it's going to be such a special thing and I'm going to be so grateful that God did protect my heart through those times. When you are going to a Christian university everything is zoomed in. It's going to look similar to high school where like there might be a popular crowd and especially in a freshman class you're going to see people um, have friend groups and you're going to see who the popular guys are that a lot of girls yeah. like and yeah. like who they give attention to and if they're not giving attention to you you might feel like a little bit less than because of that whereas like if you're going to a public university things are very zoomed out there's Super. not really clicks or no. groups or like a specific guy that everyone on campus is yeah. like that mm -hmm. guy like yes. the quarterback probably yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> quarterback it's just something you also have to keep in mind true. it makes it feel true. like very like what you're talking about there's a girl that's getting hit on like it's the same yeah. thing with guys there's always a guy that for some reason every year is like the guy yeah. 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 You and you think that's all you Life is about yes and even like marriage like you think oh I need to be married by the time I graduate or else I'm never gonna be married whatever all of a yeah. sudden it's like you you step outside of this environment and you realize that is not real life whatsoever yeah. you don't have to have a husband by the time you're 21 yeah. and you graduate yeah like it's not normal mm -hmm. so right. yeah like put things in perspective yeah. a man is not gonna fulfill you a lot of Christian universities are super focused on dating and marriage yeah. but you might not find the one in college and that's fine and that's okay and that's honestly really good because wow. you grow so much in college if you think that's like the thing you need like that missing piece in your life that you just want and crave so bad <laughs> it's not gonna feel fulfill you the way you think it is there's godly men at the gym in your hometown there's godly <laughs> men at the Starbucks doesn't have to be right down school. the road from your house and just because you're going to Christian school does not mean every hot guy that you run into is going to be a good man of God. There's a common saying, ring by spring. Did that affect you guys? I think it's just a funny thing. I don't think it ever was taken to heart. I don't so, know I'm in my junior year and literally just had a friend who this past weekend got engaged. And it's like a super exciting thing and it is the right relationship. But that might not be the case for everyone. That's and so good. I feel like you're either yeah. on the spectrum of either you are engaged by spring, you're completely single during spring, or you're in a relationship and you're in this awkward time where it's like, my boyfriend and I, we find that like when we're home, we're very content with our lives and being mm. with our families and enjoying our youth. Good. But then when we're here, we're like, okay, when you start looking at rings, like we're just with you. Like, you. He, he literally asked, like, we feel the push. And so we have to step back. If we're really wanting to do this, we need to be sure about it wherever we are. It's mm -hmm. not just because we're here. Now, one of the rules is like, you can't drink. You sign a thing not drinking. Right. On or off campus. Even after 21. What's the reality? Does it affect you at all? Or do you not even think about it? I definitely think it affects us. Yeah. It's for sure doable. You need to realize that you did sign a contract coming into your school. I think it affects you in a way that you won't realize because when I go home, sometimes I can't go out with friends or stuff like that just because, or I can't post a picture with a friend who has a drink in their hand. Yeah. Just realize what you're getting yourself into. Yeah. I got to learn like how to have fun in college Ooh. without doing those kind of That's things. That's good. Um, 
whether it's like sleepovers in our room or just yeah. like going to Tampa just to go to Whole Foods, <laughs> going and getting pizza, going and taking pictures. We had to really get creative yeah. about how to value our time together and we got to do it in a healthy way. Yeah. You might sometimes really feel like you're being treated like a child. Mm -hmm. It's really hard to be in this in-between where it's like, you're an adult now, so you have to start making decisions like you're an adult, but you're not completely an adult because you still have these like rules that you're accountable mm -hmm. to. Um, so it's definitely a balance. I, in high school, like was so set on going to UF. I wanted to be in a sorority. I wanted to post the pictures and do tailgates and all that kind of stuff. I am so grateful that I did not end up at a school like that because I know for me personally, and I don't know if there's a girl who can relate to this, but it would mm -hmm. not have been a good decision mm -hmm. for me. I would hope that I would have ended up like Caitlin who ended up dropping it, but I can't say that I would have had that strong of character. I'm so grateful that even though it wasn't necessarily my favorite rule, that it That's good. really That's has good. helped shape me and turn me into such a stronger leader. If you did do something that you regret, like we feel you because sometimes mm -hmm. it's harder to make a mistake and being a campus that's smaller, maybe that's all people have remembered of you or maybe they made you feel bad. And that's wrong. That really yeah. is wrong yeah. because good friends forgive. <laughs> Jesus right. forgives more than anybody else. It's grace in a new day. You can restart. You can do the right thing again. And um, the right people will not hold that against you whatsoever. Mm -hmm. Talk about friends because what are friendships like? What is the socializing like for you personally? This is a huge thing. At a small school, you see everybody get into these cliques. Immediately, you start feeling left out if you're not in any sort of clique. Yeah. Towards the spring semester, you start to see that people fall out of the cliques because they maybe bonded with people that they weren't necessarily meant to be that close with. You do not need to have a huge friend group your first semester of college. Like, yeah. friendships take time. Please do not go in and two months later be crying, because that's what I did. Like, poor Emerson, my RA, I would cry to her and say, I feel like I'm not connecting with people, I don't have good friends, blah, 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 blah. I just want to be with Sarah all the time because she's my old friend and we just get along so well. Just give it time because give I it promise time. you that's, that's how natural things happen. I think that this is something that I dealt with most personally in my Christian college experience. I'm always somebody like I'm very extroverted and all throughout high school I always needed people around me at all times. I wanted to have like the most amount of friends like I thought that that was added up to my worth. Coming into Christian University I had started from scratch and I didn't know anybody. I found myself wanting to get involved in any friend group I can and I wanted to make my count of how many friends I had be how how, like cool I was or how much I was being accepted and I would hmm. compare to like how, how many friends like the girl that lived next door to me had and things like yeah. that. I was just making all of these friends and meeting all of these girls but there was never anyone that I truly felt myself around and it made me super homesick, it made me super insecure because I was like nobody really gets me here and I also had to realize I was only a month into it. I had to make the decision of quality over quantity. <sighs> just because you're lonely now does not mean the rest of your life is lonely. Yeah. Just because you're Amen. alone now does not mean you'll be alone forever yeah. and I know yeah. for a certain personality so like mine, you just want a happy life, like we just want to be satisfied in life and so mm -hmm. any thought that wow, how my life looks like right now sucks, and so that's so terrifying and sad and makes it even worse to think that it might be like that forever. It's not. Mm -hmm. It's not gonna be like that forever. I can't tell you there's a quick fix if you are struggling with the friendships. I can tell you to embrace it, let time happen, and go to God. There's also so many positives to be in a smaller school because there's people right there. And yeah. definitely talk to somebody mm -hmm. if you have been feeling more alone than usual. Mm -hmm. You need to make that choice though, to talk to somebody if you've been struggling and you don't have anybody mm -hmm. um, who knows what's going on. Be yourself from the start. There were so many things that I was afraid to talk about or afraid to bring up because I was like, be ovulating. Yeah, oh like, bring <laughs> so long but I remember having a conversation my second semester because I was finally able to get over yeah, myself and be yeah. like you know what I'm just gonna start saying things yeah. and I'm gonna see her response to it yeah, and then we're like me too I know yeah. and it might take you a little bit of time but don't apologize for who you yeah. are looking back at the lonely seasons where like that's when I just when I discovered I could paint and I wouldn't have discovered that unless I went through that season I wouldn't take back those times for literally that's anything good. even though they lasted for so long at a small school there's like especially here there's a huge push mainly freshman years when you see it come in and you see like all these people who are lead on leadership like your RAs like the popular people whatever freshman year is when everyone really starts like wanting to get involved it's okay if you don't if you don't feel that I never felt this huge desire to be getting involved and to be like on leadership and I was like oh my gosh should I like feel that because everyone else is like wanting to do that everyone else is trying to be on leadership all of a sudden I never did and that's okay too when he made a joke about Enneagram so why don't everyone say their numbers seven I think. <laughs> so good. There you go. That's the real answer. I'm a three wing two. I'm a four wing three. 
I'm a six wing seven. I'm a seven wing eight. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. We really hope you guys understood our perspective from what it's really like yes. at a small Christian university. If you're just like, all of that sounds horrible. Christian University is not for me. There is such a hope, and I love what you do, Sarah, in giving girls a hope of, like, you can be in a really secular environment and be sharing that faith. And if you want to do that as well, if you're thinking about going to public school, keep watching Sarah's videos because I feel like everything that you carry is things that, like, you need to equip yourself with if you're going into those situations. We love you guys so much. Have a great rest of your day. Bye! Bye.